There we go. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's uh, been a little while. Uh, <laughs> a very long while, actually, since I've last filmed one of these Blender tutorials. But uh, by popular request in the uh, URP server, uh, Discord server, I decided to uh, bring it back and kind of just show my process on how I do my basic renders, which I'll put a few up on the screen here so you can see what our uh, end goal is. So anyway, done a lot of uh, done a lot of setup to get this ready. I've even downloaded some more add-ons and stuff. So you, now in the corner, you can see exactly what I'm doing. It's pretty cool. It's in the pink. Um, always seen people do that, so I decided I wanted to set that up as well. So anyway, let's jump straight into it. So first things first, let's delete as usual Wonder Cube and the light. We'll keep the camera because the camera hasn't done nothing wrong. So, <clears throat> um. I think in the last one, I you I've already showed how to import cars and you know paste them into brand new scenes. So if you don't know, just select the entire car, uh, Control C, and then closes out that scene. Open your new scene, and then Control V. I've already done that here. It's in this hidden collection, which you cannot see. That's that might be a problem. We might need to fix that. Hold on. All right, well, with that out of the way, you can now see uh, my rest of my screen. I don't really know exactly why that didn't work, but um, we're uh, trying this again. So anyway, you put the car in. I have my uh, 2022 um, next-gen Chevy Camaro. Uh, this is directly out of my current scene. It's nothing really special. It's just a Camaro. I mean, it looks kind of cool. So. <clears throat> get things started here we're going to put in the viewport shading which now you'll be able to see a paint scheme on there which is not the paint scheme we will be rendering i forgot to change it before this because i'm an idiot but that's okay it'll take a minute to load all the materials so here's the kyle larson car we're not going to be using that one today we're actually going to be using um don't worry about that we're actually going to be using a different car that i made a couple months ago it's a uh, atraxis quentin haley car you don't know who Quentin Haley is, you should. He's he's great. So now that we have that, let's get started on our very, very simple uh rendering process. So make sure we're not hovering over your car scene so everything doesn't go into your car scene. Make sure you're on scene collection. First things first, we'll do shift A, we'll add a plane, and we'll make this plane. Uh we're feeling generous, let's make it huge. And then uh, we'll add a new material, as you should. And since we're using HDR lighting for this, you're going to have to make this plane a little bit darker than normal because it's going to light up a lot. So I don't really like to make mine uh, in like middle uh, of white and black. So a little bit bright and kind of dark gray. Um, go ahead and turn your specular down a little bit, turn your roughness up probably say that's good I'm going to leave your metallic out though and this is pretty much I mean this is all you're going to actually see so let's uh let's set up our camera here so if you press n it'll open up this here's my screencast keys you don't need to see that but if you go over to the view tab and then press camera to view you can move your camera around just like that you know pressing shift middle mouse moves around middle mouse just you can move all over the place pretty easy um we'll set up for a three-quarter shot just like that we'll we'll leave the uh same aspect ratio but if you want to change your aspect ratios and all that you go to output properties and there you go right there we'll change our uh render engine and render properties to cycles i want to change mine to gpu because it renders a little bit faster but you can leave it cpu it, it really doesn't matter if, I mean, if you like long renders, have fun. Or if your CPU is good enough for that, have have fun. Um, we'll go down to, not film, but we'll go down to color management all the way down here. We'll go to the look. We'll press high contrast. And what that'll do, here, I'll switch it back to none. You see, kind of looks a little flat. High contrast makes it look way better. Colors pop a little more. And then uh, our denoiser. I like to have mine off the X. 
I mean, it doesn't really matter. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So you just have to switch between the two until it works. Um, so that's basic setup for your blender scene. And now here comes the magic of everything. Uh, so if you go to Shift A, add another mesh, and then you go to UV Sphere, you'll see this thing pop up. It's it's a sphere. It's nothing special. Uh, literally nothing special about it. Anyway. Good orthographic view using this little uh, tool over here. You press on the Y axis and you press S to scale, make this thing pretty big, I would say. And then once you got it pretty big, you can't you can't see the car at all. The car is gone. Uh, you go to press Tab, go to Edit Mode, and then you go over to where all these four circles are, which are your uh, preview, material preview stuff. Next to it is toggle X-ray, which you can also press Alt-Z for. Um, then when you go to select it, make sure you're uh, on your face select. So it'll look something like this. And then you select the entire bottom half, press delete, faces, and hey, there's the car again. It's appeared. Um, you can shade smooth, which I probably will go ahead and do that. It looks a little bit nicer. Raise this guy up a good bit. So this is going to be our lighting right here. This this is our entire light. You'll see here in a second. When we add a new material, we replace our surface um, principled BSDF with a background. And we go to color and then go to environment texture. So this is your HDR. And so if you want, you can go on to Google. I'll show you real quick and go to HDRI Haven. So it's well, it's called Poly Haven now, but you search up HDRI Haven, it'll still pop up. And you got a ton of HDRIs here. So I'll show you the one that I actually use for all my stuff. So go try to find it here through my million folders. Uh, and it's not even there. Looks like we're downloading it. All right. So Belfast Sunset, that's the one I usually use. It works pretty good. Let's see, it doesn't take very long to download. Put that, put that bad boy in there. Take a minute to load and <clears throat> watch this magic. And I also forgot to mention, turn the background all the way to black. It'll look better. So with this, and it's a little bit high up, but you can also turn the strength up just a bit, which I normally leave it a little low. But I mean, that, that's that. It, literally all it is is just one big HDRI sphere over top your uh, normal plane. Um, car looks good pretty much. The whole you can see the paint scheme and nothing's being blocked by the reflections no none of that crap um really any angle you get perfect lighting on even in the back so go ahead and we'll go ahead and uh swap about swap out the uh aspect ratio to what i normally do in it so it's 2160 by 2160 and see now you get a perfect square we'll uh go to our camera here up the focal length just a little bit. You don't want it too high when you're doing one of these. So let's see, I think 61 should be okay. And then when you uh, increase the focal, or not increase the focal length, but if you increase the uh, the aspect ratio, you're also gonna wanna increase your, uh, your tiles when you're rendering on Blender, or at least in cycles, cause it'll render by tile. So if you go to performance and that might not, oh no it is. Okay, if you go to performance, then memory, and the tile size. I normally set mine to exactly what my aspect ratio is, so 2160, so it renders one big tile instead of a bunch of little ones. And we'll, uh, actually let's, let's fine tune this a little. We'll turn this down even more. So, there you go. It's easy as that. And you get a good looking render. Nothing too crazy. Pretty simple. I'll show uh, I'll show a rendered preview or a um, the finished render of this 
here in a second. And of course, one big thing I forgot, uh, and I noticed while I was rendering, uh, I was wondering why it was taking so long. So when you're rendering, you always want to turn your samples down because for whatever God unknown reason, Blender puts your samples at 496, 4096, which takes an insane amount of time to render because Blender just likes to watch us suffer. So shame on Blender. Anyway, I'm going to set my samples to 180, and now we should be good to render, and it should only take me about 30 seconds to render this, and yeah, that's pretty much it, so, and here we go, render is done, you can see it looks pretty good, I would say it looks pretty good at least, um, yeah, super simple, I mean, there's really nothing to it compared to like, some other blender scenes that I've done, this is probably the most simple ever, and I can't believe that I only just figured about how to use these HDRIs like this just now. So if you uh, if you enjoyed that, well, you're welcome. I hope to see your renders improve. Um, yeah, that'll be it for me. And I probably won't post for another year and a half about how to render until I figure something out new that makes my renders look like 20 million times better than this. So anyway, thank you. Thanks for watching.